guys, it's Shreemi and welcome back to another video. So today we are doing Holly BB's Halloween build challenge, basically, that's what it is. So you had to like roll a dice and then it, that's from that is what you had to build, basically. This, there's been challenges like it before, but I thought this one sounded really fun. So I rolled a spooky schoolhouse, maybe? I think that's what she called it. Anyway, basically I had to make a spooky school. Um, so that is what we're building today. Um, I, this is going to go up on Halloween. I'm sorry there's no Pike Legacy today, but I thought because one of my upload days is Halloween, I might as well take advantage of it. So I decided to make like a Victorian schoolhouse type of thing, kind of. Yep, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's what I'm making, if you're wondering what is happening in the video. Um, but I thought, on account of the fact of being Halloween, I would tell some ghost stories. If you can remember back to my Vic, no, my gothic apartment speed build that I did, I remember pre-filming it during the summer, so it's around August-ish um, on my channel. I might link it if I remember. I probably won't. Um, but in that, I told my own ghost story, um, which, and then I made some joke about me being Shroomy the Ghost Whisperer, and it kind of caught on. So, um, <laughs> Shroomy the Ghost Whisperer is back. But I thought, because I have only had one spooky encounter in my life, I thought I would find other people's. But the thing is, when I was googling these, I know I'm really sad, sorry, but when I was googling these for this speed build, I couldn't find any that were like, I was struggling to find ones that were appropriate, because obviously like, I don't know how old the people watching this video are. So I can't make them too freaky lest there's some like seven year old watching and then I give them nightmares and their parents have a go at me. So plan aborted, we are going to, these are like family friendly ghost stories, okay? So they're not, they're kind of spooky. I don't like scary things um, at all whatsoever. Like these people who are like, yeah, I love horror films. I'm like, nope, not for me. <laughs> um, I absolutely hate scary things. But we i like just as an example of how much of a wimp i am like i got scared by um disney's animated robin hood that's how it is um it's a really good film but it freaks me out a lot so yep <laughs> now we all just know how lame i am let's get started um so the first one is called mr sullivan right story time with shroomy oh get all get cozy for the fun times. Right, okay, so this is called Mr. Sullivan. Are right, you ready? Cool. I'm gonna get started. Put on my narrator voice. <laughs> um, on a cold winter day, Mr. Sullivan came to... Okay, can we just note, by the way, this is just gonna be me, like, d d giving a running commentary on this, basically, so this can't get too freaky because I'm just gonna be here, like, interrupting. Uh, can we just appreciate how came to is in, like, quotes? It's like, came I'm doing air uh, quotes here came to right okay whilst walking alongside the edge of a road he walked over to a woman and asked her for some help only for her to scream loudly at the mere sight of him and run away in fear me <laughs> I think that's just a little bit rude like someone comes up to you and then you're like ah and then you run away it's not a great plan I I don't think that's exactly ideal, but I mean, we'll get over it, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, anyway, where were we? You're running away in fear. Astonished at her response, Mr. Sullivan continued on his way and tried to flag down several passing cars, only for them all to speed up as soon as they saw him. He eventually called a taxi company, and when they arrived, they looked at him and they too sped away. This guy isn't having much luck. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, this isn't a great day for him. <laughs> He's he's not having a great day. People are mean, okay? These people are being horrible to him. Um, uh, the man went back to the same phone booth and called his wife, wanting to know what on earth was going on and why people seemed to be so afraid of him. A man answered the phone in a voice he didn't recognise. Ooh, spooky. Right. Unfortunately, Mrs. Sullivan isn't available at the moment. She's at her husband's funeral. He died in a car accident last night. Plot twist, we weren't expecting that, were we? Eh? Eh? Um, right. Finally, Mr. Sullivan found his way to a public bathroom. Oh, that's good. He's got a good sense of direction, this guy. Um, he looked in the mirror and found his face bloodied and bruised. Is bloodied a word? Um... I don't think it is. Is bloody the word? I'm not sure. Um, also, if you're wondering what the white thing is in the like school playground thing, it's hopscotch. If you don't know what it is and you've never played it, 
sorry, we can't be friends. Um, he realised why everyone was so reluctant to st stop for him. He was dead. He was a ghost. Well, isn't that a lovely story? Poor Mr. Sullivan. Right. Okay. So here is the next ghost story. Ooh. Right. This is called The Ghostly Maid. That's a little bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Just a little bit. <laughs> um, once upon a time, a man and a boy who had lost their wife and mother moved into a new house. Oh, this is all starting very well, isn't it? New house, dead person, cool. They were told by the locals in the village that the house was haunted, but neither the man nor the boy believed in ghosts, and they moved into the house quite happily. The child went downstairs and asked the maid of the home for a glass of water and some fruit. Healthy breakfast. And she happily obliged. She also told the boy that there could be ghosts. It's a little bit random, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, could be ghosts. Here's some fruit, here's some water. There could be ghosts. Right, let's see how this goes. Later that day, the little boy struck up a conversation with his father. The person who wrote this. Great. <laughs> What was it? He struck up a conversation with his father. Daddy, I've been thinking. I could believe in ghosts. The maid told me there might be ghosts in the house. Son, we don't have a maid. We need to leave. Dun, dun, dun. That would freak me out. Like, so much. That would freak me out. <laughs> Anywho, we are, I'm not, I might have to rate these in which one I, um, which one I like best. Um, I'm not sure how long the speed build is. I've been going for six minutes. And this speed build is how many minutes long? Eleven. Okay, there's one in here that I'm not sure if I want to read out. So we'll see how how we go, and then whether we need to or not. Um, right. This is the hitchhiker that never was. Ooh. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, I think in that um speed build that I was talking about at the beginning, I went boo hoo. So, there you go, for old time's sake, we can do it again. Um, this is called The Hitchhiker That Never Was. A girl in a pretty white dress and embroidered sweater flags. <laughs> and embroidered sweater, comma, their grammar's wrong, right, comma. Oh yeah, I put the baseball bat in, because it was like, they beat the children. Because that's a thing that happened, okay, this isn't me being inhumane. History, I imagine this was English, just because, YOLO, I'm English. Woo! Um... But they used to beat kids at schools as punishment. Fun times. Not really. It's really bad. Anyway, a girl in a pretty white dress and embroidered sweater, fl comma, flags down an old man for a ride. Don't get hitchhiked, okay? Is that no? Don't don't hitchhike. It's bad and dangerous, and there might be creeps, okay? Promise me you won't. Um, he gives her a ride to her great grandmother's house, and they have a lovely conversation. Talking about the old days, and the elderly man shares some great stories with her. He drops her off at her G Mars. <laughs> this is so American. We would never say G Mars. <laughs> I'm guessing that's mean grandma. Um, to drop off the sweater. Oh, right. The following day, when he gets into his car to pick up some milk in the paper, he realizes the sweater is still in his car. He swings by the young girl's G Mars house to drop off the sweater, and her G Ma answers the door. He explains why he's there. I'm sorry, sir, I think you have the wrong address. My great-granddaughter died many, many years ago wearing her favourite white dress after a night out dancing. Well, ain't that freaky? <laughs> oh, well. Right, um, we are now moving on to the clown statue. That's what this is called. Yep, cool. Clowns. Obviously the least freaky thing in the world. Um, right, the clown statue. A young teen is babysitting for... Babysitting for a family. That is a very. This is written really badly. A young teen is babysitting for a family that is very, very wealthy and a large mansion filled with a huge number of rooms and a vast number of in interesting antiques and artifacts. Fact. Oh, I need to cough. Oh, well, I'll cope. Strangely, though, the father mentions to the girl that once the children are put to sleep for the night, the girl should only go to the basement and not sp spend her time in any of the other rooms in the house. She could watch the television down there and was free to do anything else in the basement, but the rest of the house was off limits. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? It's a little bit creepy, though, isn't it? Um, she goes to the basement once the children are in bed, but quickly notices a large clown statue in the corner of the room. It appears to be staring at her. She continues to watch her show, but can't shake the feeling that the statue is following her around the room with its eyes. She puts a blanket over the statue and eventually to make, in an effort to make herself feel more comfortable, and then the telephone, and then telephones the father of the children to ask if she can go and move to another 
room of the house because she's so freaked out by the clown. You need to leave now! We don't own a clown statue. The children have been telling us they've been seeing a clown in their room at night. And we thought they were having nightmares. Take the children and get out. Uh, the young girl hangs up the phone terrified. She turn turns around but the statue's gone, leaving behind only the blanket on the floor. That's freaky, isn't it? It's a bit it, isn't it? I've never, I haven't watched that because, as I mentioned at the beginning, I get freaked out by everything. So, see, so, like, going to watch a horror film would just be like a form of suicide for me. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm not joking about suicide. Very serious, but I'm just saying that would be like terrible for me. I wouldn't be able to sleep for like three years. Um, right. Um, I think we. Hmm, this is. I don't know. Do I wrap up this video? Because I don't want to say the other story because it's not that appropriate. Um, but. Ah, uh, if you want to download this house that is on the gallery, and so are all of my other builds, unless I'm really forgetful and I forget to put them up on the gallery, but it should be up there, and I hope you're enjoying it. Um, this is really fun to build, and also I tweeted about it, and um, Holly, who made the challenge, she like tweeted me back about it. It was very exciting. I was very pleased. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope my stories haven't freaked you out too much, because... I tried to make them quite family friendly because I'm like I don't know how old these people are and then if you're older and you're like huh, that wasn't even a scary story you can just enjoy how freaked out I get about stuff <laughs> um, I'm trying to make the playground here and it just looks really strange but I didn't know what to do there wasn't that much like play equipment I could put in and just slipped in a few gravestones but you know <laughs> it's alright um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to be part of the Shrimmy family. We're currently on 580 subscribers, which is crazy! Like, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, really do hope you enjoyed this video. This was super fun to build. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I just thought for the people that do, I will make you some Halloween build. Bye, guys! <laughs>